Salaam said, Umranu Baytil Maqdis. At that time when Jerusalem is overflowing with construction, it's built up. Jerusalem is a booming city, booming. And so, so Jerusalem moving to center stage. At that time, when this happens, and this is now happening, Umranu Baytil Maqdis, Kharabu Yathrib. At that time when Jerusalem is flourishing, booming, center stage, at that time Yathrib or Medina will be in a forlorn state of desolation. Kharab, meaning playing absolutely no role, either in Islamic affairs or in world affairs. <laughs> A forgotten city. At that time, when Yathrib is in a state of forlorn desolation, Khurujul Malhama, at that time, the great war will take place, the Malhama. That great war has been described in several ahadiths as a terrible, terrible, terrible war. In fact, a series of wars which will culminate with the biggest war of all. The birds will fall down from the sky. That malhama has not as yet taken place. But when it does, it's going to make the First World War and the Second World War look like a fight over peanuts. <laughs> and then the hadith goes on to say, Khurujul malhama fathul Constantinia that it is only after you have experienced the malhama only then would the conquest of constantinople take place and then the hadith ends that when constantinople is conquered that will be followed by the khuruj of dajjal dajjal was released in the lifetime of the prophet but you cannot see him because he's not in our world of space and time. But when he is in our world of space and time, he emerges as a human being, a Jew, a young man, powerfully built, curly hair, meaning the curls of the side. And he will declare, I am the Messiah. This is the Khuruj. <coughs> when the Prophet ﷺ said, he said that the great war, the Malhama, the conquest of Constantinople and the Khuruj of Dajjal, will all take place within a period of seven months.